All right, hello, this is a, going to be a short note about the use of the 2102D Starfinder. And we have other videos that talk about what the package is like and background and things like that. This is going to be one mission just to show how to identify stars. It, you can use it for several purposes, identifying stars, setting up your sights and so forth. This is just identifying stars. And inside the box is the, is the red template for putting our planets on it and the regular blue templates for a star ID. And so here we're going to, the example we're going to do is we're going to be on, uh, let's see, July 4th, 2024, uh, from a position that's uh, 35 degrees north, 70 degrees west. That's about uh, 250 miles uh, east of uh, North Carolina. And so there we want to just set up and see what does the sky look like then. We took some sights and we want to identify stars that we're seeing. So we have the north template. This is the north, north. It's a facing north. Got an N here. And there's a little pin in here. You have to be very careful always. I always say this. Be careful about that. You can easily push that out and lose it. And then you end up uh, working it uh, with a pencil point in it. That's a lot of extra work. So then we find the template that's the nearest to our latitude. This one is, I took right at 35. And you see when I read 35 is right, so I know that goes this way. If I'm trying to put it on this way, that's wrong because I read 35 and I'm on the north. Okay, so I've got 35 north. So I'm going to put that on there. And then very gently I push this in and then check that it didn't. Okay, yeah, it even moved a little bit. Okay, so now it's equal on both sides, that little pin. And here we are. This is now, this is the sky I see. All these stars are in view. This star is right overhead. This is the star, well, there's no stars overhead right now, but then, then this is the horizon. This is, these are zero degree. These are just barely on the horizon. And this is time going along this way on this arc down here, where every 15 degrees is one hour. And the actual scale that goes on here is that we set it to the local hour angle of Aries. That's just our way to rotate the sky onto the proper place, the proper orientation. And that's all we need to know is a local hour angle of Aries. Let me, a quick reminder here. Here's a Greenwich Meridian. Here's our longitude. That we're on our longitude line. We're up at this latitude. And over here is the Aries Meridian. It's just a Greenwich Meridian of the sky. All the stars on the star globe are relative to it. And then it just moves around. This Meridian moves over through the sky like that at 15 degrees per hour. And so the Greenwich hour angle of Aries is just the way the almanac or some of these tables, I'll show you, this is a long-term table here, you don't even need the almanac. But, so, and that's defined this way. Here's Greenwich, the Greenwich, and here's this angle here, that's the uh, Greenwich hour angle of Aries. Here's our longitude, and here's the LHA of Aries. That, it's how, in other words, how far is this meridian west of us? and it's measured west that way. So over here, it's like some number, or it could be wrapped around, and it's a bigger number, but that's the a, that's a number. And the formula, let's see here. Okay, so the formula then is just GHA of Aries, GHA of Aries, minus our longitude. So this LHA Aries from here to here is just a GHA of Aries all the way, minus our longitude, that's this one. And so here we've got, and. Um, so now we can look this up. And here is a set of free tables that you can download. This is in the back or at the front maybe of Pub 249 Volume 1. I'll put a link in the, in, the tech, in the description about where you download that. And this goes up to 2030. And so we want uh, uh, July 4th, J July 4th of uh, 2024. And so, yeah, here's, here's July. And then the way you do that is this is the value here at zero, zero hours on the 20, on the July 4th, that number. And then you go on the day four, day four, hour five, you add that much to it, 78 degrees, 10 minutes. And then at 35 minutes, you do that. So that's all the table work. Here's the math. Here's the math with the, the zero hours, the five hours of that, and we get the GHA. GHA of Aries is 628, 6 degrees, 28 minutes. But we want LHA, which is GHA minus the longitude. So that's 628 minus 70, and that's negative. So just go ahead and add 360 now, 
and you get this number, 296 degrees, 28 minutes, approximately that. Again, this we're, on this star chart, on this type of device, you know, if you're plus or minus a degree, you're fine. So that's, that's accurate, 296.5. So that means that for July 4th, 5, 5.30 Zulu, and I set this at 296.5. Let's see, where is that? 296. Let me just see if I can lift that up and move it a little easier. Yeah, okay. So there is two, let me just do this carefully as I can. That's 295. We want 296.5. So that's 296. And then 296.5 is approximately right there. Okay. Yeah, to, okay, so I'm gonna hold that tight. Now, now let's just see. What, let's just say what stars did I see that I'm trying to identify? And I can go online and fake it, right? I can go, here's a, here's a link that tells you where all the stars are, starpath.com slash USNO, that's our short, <coughs> excuse me, shortcut link. And we've set this up for these conditions that we just talked about. Now, let's just say we saw a star that was at bearing 28, about 282 degrees at about 17 degrees high. It was 282, 17 degrees high. So the bearings are along the side. And it's 250, 270, 280, 282 at, uh, 282 at 17. And look here. Here's 280, here's 280, 285, halfway between is 282, and that's 10, 15, 16, right above it. That's, so we've identified the star Arcturus. So that's what it was. So now how did we go here? We didn't have a cheat sheet. We were on deck. We measured with a sextant that the height of the star was 16, uh, seven, about 17 degrees. And on the compass, we took a bearing, a, a magnetic bearer, <coughs> excuse me, magnetic bearing to it, corrected for the variation, got the true bearing. And that's all we need to do. We do only one extra thing special, we take a bearing to it, then we can identify it. So that star, and sure enough, that was Arcturus. This is like a cheat sheet, but this is like what we saw. Let's do one other one. Let's say we saw another star at 230, 224 degrees, roughly, at 224 at roughly 13 degrees. Okay, 224, let's see where 200, 220, 220, okay, there's 225. This this actually shows it slightly. Am I shifted here a little bit? I may have shifted a little bit while I'm talking. Well, well, it's, it's uh, 296.5, yeah, that's it. So we're at uh, Antares, um, 13 degrees at 224. Okay, oh, this is exactly 225, and it's at 10, 15, just under 15 is 13. So that star is Antares. That star is Antares. So that's the way you identify the star. You have measured the height with your sextant. You measured the height of the sextant with 13 degrees. You measured with a compass and then corrected for true, and you got its bearing was 234, but you don't know the name of it. Then you set this up at local hour angle of Aries, go on here and you identify your star. So that's the end of that process. And we'll come back with other things like how you choose the best sites and various other applications of this handy device.